Hey guys, Liam here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this catapult, and it works, see, 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 I'm joking, that's, that's, that's what I use for the screenshot, because it looks cool, so yeah, um, I'll show you it works, this, I actually figured out why it wasn't working in the video that I made a minute ago, although you'll probably see this one first, because it works, but you have to make sure when you do use it, you attach this side to here first, and not the other way around, otherwise it does not work. And also you have to make this a uh, an object, a movable object. And we'll just, uh, oh shit, move that a touch. And it fell out, of course it fell, fell out. Uh, so yeah. And then that. I mean, I don't know why it does that, it's just a bug. But yeah, um, I mean I probably do. Yeah, I'm sure I had about it quickly. So. What we do is make sure that this isn't on J and get it the right orientation. I want to be a little bit high so you've got a little bit of room to work. And you want to make this 25. Roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, and then oh, uh, make sure you've got everything equipped. That's probably a bit more useful. You know, you shit like that. This is good to get um, everything. You know, you just take a look, and then it's one. So you pop this on here. Like so. This one goes up here. And it needs to be about here. And then this part's a little bit fiddly. So, actually, um, I made a mistake already. I'm a scrub. This needs to be too thick. So we make this too thick. And we put the other one in. Like so. Yeah, and this is the fiddly part. Um, you need the torsion spring. So we have to attach this here. But this is where it gets a little bit fiddly. So we have to, have to make a hole, kind of. And fill that in. I don't know if this is going to work. It should work. That's how I did it before. And six. Now, is this lined up correctly? No. Now it will be. Ah, see, this is our problem. Let's make it uh, another thick. Actually, let's try moving this first, and if not, we'll remove that over there. So I think it's four, isn't it? I don't know. No, it's three. Definitely three. There you go. That's there. And then you can remove this. Around that one. Oh, sugar. Don't want to place them like that. And there you go. You've got this side. So this... You want to go on to here, you want to make it the uh, same length as the other side, which is 14, too thick. Uh, you can hold left shift to make sure it goes the right way, or to uh, um, make it more 14, come on, oh god, it's a little bit fiddly, but just keep trying. And then uh, the wheel goes this side of this, so you want to go remove two here and then you want to get this thing this is the wheel lock I think it's called it's not majorly important you can use the other one the other one locks it if you press a certain thing um, we don't need an axle so we don't need to attach the two necessarily but you want to attach one on there one just single block another single block on oh, this side get the wheel and then plonk it on. You may have to rotate it using the, uh, well you can use all the like insert home page up, all those keys, or you can use E, Q, R, and um, U and a couple of others I believe. I don't know exactly which everyone is. Seven, and then we got that, and then we go up here like that. Okay, um, the easiest way to get this part right is just to make it a standard size. 
How long is the other one? Mm, probably about the same. And then we chuck the spoon on the end. I don't know if it is a spoon, but it looks like one, so I'm going to call it a spoon. And then you want to put the uh, latch thing on the back like that. Actually, I need to measure this next part because this is a little bit fiddly. So, you want to go 13. I didn't measure the other side, did I? Okay, um, I forgot that I have music playing in the background. That is a mistake, if you can hear that. <laughs> please don't flag me. <laughs> YouTube, please. Okay. There we go, and we want to add another lock on here. Another lock on here. And then we want to add two, I believe it's two. I don't know what that noise was. And then you need the uh, rope drum. And then you chuck the rope, rope drum where you there, for instance. Pop it on. And then on this side, you're going to want one of these. And one of these. Okay, and then we uh, simply want to put a split around here. I think this would do. And then the same on the opposite side for the other wheel. So that's the wheel on that side. And then we check the wheel on this side. And boom. We're nearly there. Um, might just want to add a few sort of strengthening struts. Like so. I mean, this you can just do however you want. Um, we're nearly there, so to load it, or not load it, but to get the next part in, click T on, on this one first, so make sure you always click T on here, and then on here. And then T on this, and it pulls it all the way back. And then you get this, and you put it across here, like so. And you're done. Um, this, this breaks it a little bit, because it updates the... Um, the whole model, if you know what I mean. So we take T on here. Uh, I teed on the drum first. See, this is what happens if you don't press T on the rope drum. So you T on the rope drum, T on here. And then you can wind it all the way back, as you can see. This one's actually better than the other one. So let's, let's test it out. Let's get a large projectile. And then you want to press J. So it's a physics object rather than a solid object. Drop that in. And kaboom. Uh, it broke. If it breaks, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But this one it did. What you want to do is you can either make it shorter or use a smaller ball. Uh, I haven't actually had it break before, but that's new. Okay, and now it's not moving at all. What is that? Okay, let's let's try and make it a little bit smaller. Make it one shorter. Okay, guys, the game just crashed, but we're back. So uh, I've made the arm slightly short as well because I had to rebuild the back end of it. But yeah, it didn't take too long. So we're gonna do a test run. We're gonna see how the the uh, catapult. I was gonna call it a cannon then. See how the catapult functions. So get rid of this. And as you can see. A working catapult. Oh. <laughs> Slow motion. I don't know what does this. Okay. So let's take a copy of this. I might even... What? Okay. That's, that's, that's not what I wanted. Take a copy of this. There we go. I want to see if we can destroy this bloody gate I built. Yeah, this game, most of the time, I think, oh my god. Like, it looks like it's lagging, but I'm still getting 50 FPS. It's just the game. It's just running slow. I don't know, maybe it's my CPU. 
Oh, sugar. Okay, here we are. And then let's, let's close it. Let's we slow motion. I haven't slowed this down. It's just the game lagging. <gasps> it actually broke something. Holy shit. I'm so excited. I know, I know, I know. And I just can't hide it. What? Um, sugar. Bit overzealous there. I had to re-strengthen this bridge as well because of making it bigger. But yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. I might override the other one. Oh shit! <laughs> I think it's just been. Oh shit! That was a bit rough. Okay, after that slight malfunction, I just want to show it. Uh, you know, functioning a few times. Just a few decent shots. Okay. Oh, oh, you can rotate the balls. I did not know that. Oh, where's my ball gone? There we go. Why is it lag? What? It's not even like frame lag. It's just game lag. What is the difference? And we fire one. I mean, you could... Oh, we could use, like, locking wheels. Like, that, that's an improvement you could do. You could put the locking wheels on here and then just set them once it's down. It's um, set so it wouldn't move. That would be interesting. That would work. And we load it again. Okay, just ignore that breaking. Just slowly ripping itself apart. I missed. Got that one in there. Look at that. Another successful shot. Another successful siege engine built. I think this is the first consistent machine. Should we try it with a small ball? Nah, I didn't think that was going to work. Anyway, so yeah. Um, a working siege engine. How's that? Are you guys as happy about that as I am? I've saved it. I might upload that to the workshop because it works. Slightly. So much time. As long as you don't put a small ball in. And don't knock it too hard. Why does it never just go in? <laughs> That's what she said. Well, I'm making jokes. I'm tired. And there we go. With that final shot, this has been Medieval Engineers, and I built a catapult, and yeah. If you liked the video, um, give it a thumbs up, like, you know, whatever, all the usual shit, subscribe if you want, don't have to, tell me to fuck off if you think I should fuck off, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, have a great day, goodbye.